How you doing, YouTube? Mountain Mass Beer Reviews back with Beer Mail. Ah, oh, Beer Mail. I love me some Beer Mail. Um, especially at the new place. I moved. I'm in new digs. It looks very similar back here, but it's a little bit different. Um, but yeah, this is not a new person um, who's sending me a Beer Mail. It comes courtesy of Carson from Florida. Uh, one of my two Florida beer connections. Almost like a beer battle thing going on between Carson and Ralph. Uh, Ralph is the other guy from Florida. He sends me a ton of different stuff, but... Um, how awesome is that? Dude sending me beer. It's amazing, especially since Carson on the, like, butchered his name, like, 13 times in reviews and stuff like that. I don't know why you would ever forget a name like that. So, if you watch reviews and I say weird names like Jebediah or Othello or whatever, I'm going to call them weird names from now on. So, thank you very much for the beer mail, Henry. It's very, very appreciated. Uh, yeah, let's just crack into it, see what she's got. Give her a flip it around. Got this earlier today. You see, I'm like the gray fog today because I had a day off work. Well, I didn't have a day off work. I worked from home because um, it snowed on April, <laughs> was it second or third today uh, here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Here you can see this writing. I was playing Jeopardy with uh, the wife and I needed a scoreboard. <laughs> so I used a beer mail before I opened it as the uh, scoreboard for Jeopardy. So there you go. <sighs> anyway, she won because I bet everything on a daily double and got it wrong. So let's see what we got going on here. Bottle. Gotta love me some bottle. Note. Ooh, notes, baby. Gotta love notes. Got cans of beers. Oh, plenty. Uh, all individually packaged. Look at this. So fancy and note time. Gonna have some note going on. It's gonna be him busting my ass about calling them with different names or something. We'll see. What do we have here? It says, hey, Mike. <laughs> yes, buddy. Thing on order, you unbox this. Could totally ruin the surprise or provide some closing thoughts. Spoiler alert. Um, for what it's worth, two cents, I think this uh, large tears beer, okay, that's going to be in here. Well, let's save that for the end, okay? Um, we'll go through this and then read it at the end. Uh, first things first, go with the bottle. Funky Buddha. It's cool that they're doing Funky Buddha beers in the smaller bottles. I kind of dig that. This is their Nib Smuggler. It's a chocolate milk porter. I've had this before, but I haven't reviewed it yet. Uh, 6.3% alcohol by volume on the side here. It says, um, Cocoa Cowboy or Cowgirl. Uh, this is the finest, purest black cocoa straight from the source. The rugged mountains of Brazil where chocolate is a life. We smuggled these beans back in our brew house. They were blended with a creamy milk porter and fragrant Madagascar vanilla beans. Get cocoa up. Um, so yeah, it's like their old school kind of goofy labels. It's like a Miami Vice thing, but, uh, you know, with a little, uh, cow. There you go. There you go. One down. That would be your singular bottle. Next one up, we have a little bit of Southern Swells. That's a lot of stuff that, uh, Carson sends me. Uh, it says here, riding on bikes with really large tires, double India pale ale, um, Let's see, they go um, Galaxy, Citra, and Mosaic. These players need no introduction. Big, dang, pungent, and aggressive. It's just who they are. Um, and this can is 313. Like I said, this is April 2nd or 3rd. Um, you know, it's a black and white photo and lettering. It is what Southern Swells do. Grab another one from these guys. Try to keep it in order. A brewery if I can. Um, we have in here, in a galaxy really, really close by. India Pale Ale, 7% alcohol by volume. On the side, it says a bright, uh, bright India Pale Ale, uh, driven by generous dry hops of galaxy and citrus. Distinct aroma and notes of citrus, passion fruit, and tropical fruit are present in every sip. It's safe to say the force is strong with this one. Same thing. A little black and white galaxy back there. And done and done. Um, let's see. What do we have here? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Westbrook Brewing Company. It's their Edmund, Oat, and Edmund Oats Brewing. Uh, it's Westbrook Edmund Oats. There's nothing peanut butter than a nice pair of cam pants. Wait, there's nothing butter. <laughs> I said peanut butter. There, there's nothing butter than a nice pair of cam pants. Okay. I, I, maybe I'm butchering that. I'm not really understanding what's going on. Uh, it says down here 10% uh, contains peanuts. So I assume... It's a stout of some sort. Um, yeah, I actually really did the label. It's kind of ghetto and it's got a skull with, uh -huh. what do you want? The next two are beers that I definitely have, but they're probably ridiculously fresh. Um, here we have 
It's not that fresh. But anyway, uh, we have High Life India Palo um, from Cigar City. And then we have the Oak Age High Life, um, which, let me see what we have here. 12, 14. So not super fresh, but they're two beers that I absolutely love. I don't I, I don't know if I've ever done High Life. I don't know if I've ever done White Oak High Life. I have to look back at my reviews. But they're beers I definitely purchased before. Um, I just dig them, so the fact that I can just get them straight from the source is pretty cool. Uh, let's continue with the letter here. It says, for what it's worth, I think uh, this Large Tires beer is the best IPA release from S Southern Swell so far. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Citroen Mosaic Galaxy can't beat that in my book. Westbrook is an odd duck. I, um, I have... or. A duck, have fun. I believe you had the high line, obviously nothing crazy, but I thought the Oak Age version could provide an interesting comparison and basically what I thought I'd do with those. Wish it was fresher, but it's the way the cookie crumbles. Cheers, Theodore. Uh, so, you know, even he's playing along with the game now. So, yeah, uh, thank you very much, brother. Uh, super appreciative. Um, I'll definitely do a side-by-side -side with these regardless and just kind of get these as I go. I'm finally getting settled in my new dig, so I have a little bit of time to kind of actually put some reviews down, but I do have a little bit of a backlog, so it might take me a little bit. I don't even think I posted all of the beers from the last beer man he sent me, which is right about a month and a half ago or something like that, so i got to get my ass in gear. Um, so there you go. Um, another little unboxing done. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed me cracking these out of the box. Hopefully you guys watch me review all these, and uh, hopefully you guys... Keep tuning in and hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.